Okay, so I finally got my stuff from, well, my first part of my, because uh, I still have some waiting to be shipped. Uh, so this is my first box from Pristine Auctions that was held up at uh, Customs. Uh, even though I, I'd gotten this before my uh, box from Cooperstown, Cooperstown came in through Canada Post, so I was able to go to Canada Post and pay for the Customs there. This one was the through UPS. Uh, I tried to pay, the first time I had, uh, I just made some payments and I bought some stuff and my, I, was like, I had like a hundred and change and left on my account. And I was like 12 cents short of the total that I owed on, uh, it was like 112 cents or something, 103 and 12, I'd have to look. But, uh, so I was short, I was like 12 cents short. Uh, even though I had enough in my savings to, to cover it, it wouldn't do the whole thing. And so, uh, then I waited, uh, and I had enough, obviously, in the next, next check, and, uh, kept trying to pay for it, pay for it, and it wouldn't work. I even signed up for an account, I, you know, did everything, and still wouldn't work, still wouldn't work, and I, I sent emails to Pristine, I said, I've been trying to pay, it's not working, sent emails to, uh, uh, UPS, and then after finally back and forth, back and forth, the lady said, uh, we yeah, uh, debit and credit cards don't work on our site. And I'm like, well, I don't have any other credit. I don't so she finally said, well, well, you can link it with PayPal. So, so I had to create an account. And then uh, by that time, I'd order a bunch of stuff from Frameworth and, uh, Frameworth and, where's it? Oh, and then my, my mystery boxes from the Raptors. But I didn't have enough money to even pay for it again. So I... Finally, this week, signed up for a PayPal account, paid for, or last week, I should say, because I just got it uh, today, and then finally paid for it all, so finally arrived, so I don't even know how many, because uh, it automatically just shipped, uh, I don't know how many uh, mystery boxes it shipped that went, obviously it's not that big, so I don't even know really what's in it, so there's got to be a few different things in here, I'm guessing. So we'll see how these, these this first shipment from Pristine goes. Definitely a long wait. They pack it really well, anyways. Okay. 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 So these, so these are the, these aren't mystery boxes. These are the pucks that I bought. These are kind of cool. There's two different pucks. This is the Air Force 2020 Stadium Series Air Force Academy puck. Whoops. So they're crystal pucks with actual water, well, ice. Well, it's not frozen now, but so they're like crystal pipes. They look really, really cool. So my plan is to get them signed. And oh, okay. Oh, it's just got like a little. Oh, I see. So I get that plugs it in, I guess. So there's a plug at the bottom. So it's really cool. So 2020 Stadium Series Air Force Academy. And this game was between... I don't even know. Let's see on the back. Oh, so Colorado Springs, Colorado. So it was obviously the Avalanche. I don't know who they played. Anyway, so that's the first puck. These are really cool. I'm going to start buying some of these because they look really cool signing like blue uh, deco or... Yeah, for Colorado Avalanche, I'd be using the blue deco. So that's that one there. And put this on top, it doesn't scratch. So you got the plastics, so doesn't scratch. So that's the first one. That's the only unsigned stuff I would get. Cool stuff like this. Otherwise, there's no point buying unsigned stuff. I'm not going to put that back on. And here's the other puck. This one is, oh, so this one shows both. So this is Dallas Stars versus Nashville. So it's got the same type of thing. So it's, oh, it's even got a, this one's cool. It's got a stand. Maybe that's what the other one had. That's why they had the little thing on the bottom. But I didn't, don't know where it was. So it's got the Winter Classic 2020 Dallas Texas National Hockey League official game used ice. So that's pretty cool. Get that sign in green probably for Dallas or yellow for Nashville. So that's it for that puck. Okay, so this is the first Mystery Ink part. So this one is Mystery Ink Baseball, signed baseball box, present and future. 
edition mystery ink baseball so let's try that one is it numbered no, i don't think so uh, the jersey one is numbered Okay, should pop right out. Oh yeah, this way. All right, so it's in a nice black satin box, or box bag. And I do not recognize that autograph. Rye something. I don't know if anybody recognizes it. I don't know if the read who it is in here. Get the JSA certificate. Royce Lewis. Royce Lewis signed baseball. Okay. Uh, never. Uh, Royce Clayton, I've heard of, former J, but Royce Lewis. I'll have to look that up. Alright, so I don't know who that is. I'll put that in here. So obviously, I'm guessing that is a. Future edition, I'm guessing, not present. He's probably future. I'm going to look him up. Alright. Now, hopefully I have a better... I can actually recognize who's in this one. So, this is a multi-sport Series 3 featuring one autograph jersey per box. Box 22 of 50. So, this is the one here. This is one of my jersey ones. I try to get the jersey ones. I'd love to, right now I can't, but I'd love to eventually get some full-size uh, NFL helmets. I saw a video of a guy just ripping open like 10 or 12 and that's pretty sick. So right now I'm going to definitely do jerseys a lot and like photos, definitely baseballs. Uh, hopefully there's a big name on this one. Let's try this one here. Box 22 of 50. Okay, it's baseball. Number 45 looks like the Mets. Real? I don't even know. I have to open it up. Wheeler, maybe? Wheeler? New York Mets, Wheeler. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, not a National League guy, so I don't even know. I'd have to look it up. And on the Beckett, it uh, doesn't even say who it is. Just has the number G47584. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to look it up. I don't even know. So. It would have been nice if it had been Cindergaard, but this is Wheeler, number 45 for the Mets. So, unfortunately, I don't know who that is. Uh, but I'm going to have to do some research on who Lewis and Wheeler is. So, that's what, that's a chance you take when you're when you're doing uh, mystery boxes. It's either a hit or a miss. And these, I don't know, they're not, they're not hits because I don't really know who they are. But you never know with the up-and-coming guys. I'm definitely going to check these guys out and see who they are. But still not going to stop me from buying mystery boxes because it's the excitement. If you pull somebody big, you're all pumped up. Even when I open up my Raptors ones, I like I was pumped to get something new. So uh, the the pucks were really cool. Um, and then I got to check out who the who the baseball is and who the and, uh, who the jersey is. So thanks for watching, guys. Looking forward to getting my the rest of my mystery stuff, and buying some more mystery stuff, and hopefully hitting the big hits. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Take care.